Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 13th of 2024 is titled Aurora Time Lapse Over Italian Alps. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the Aurora and actually a video time lapse showing about one hour's worth of time compressed into just a few seconds. And we'll play it here and just leave it on repeat as we look at what we see in this image. So we see as the video starts, you'll see the aurora there very prominent in the red, which is caused by oxygen atoms high up in Earth's atmosphere. Now early on toward the very beginning of it, you can also see a little bit of the green glow off to the horizon. That is also caused by oxygen atoms and in fact the same oxygen atoms that cause the red glow. However, the difference is where they occur in Earth's atmosphere. The red glow is caused very high in Earth's atmosphere, where the atmosphere is extremely thin and that allows the red light of oxygen to be visible. When you get down a little bit lower where the air is slightly denser, although still nowhere near breathable, then we start to get the green light of oxygen, which is also prominent with the aurora. So all of those colors are actually caused by oxygen atoms in Earth's very high upper atmosphere, well above the surface. Now the aurora are formed when charged particles are sent out from the sun. Now this is done on a regular basis by the solar wind. But we get more intense aurora when there are strong storms on the sun, which we see as flares. And recently we saw a large X-class solar flare that occurred, and that sent a lot of charged particles toward Earth, giving us the more intense aurora and allowing them to be seen at lower latitudes. Now, why are they usually visible at high latitudes? Well, the particles are actually funneled by the magnetic field of our Earth. And that funnels along the magnetic field lines and then strikes Earth's atmosphere where the magnetic field lines come into the atmosphere. And that's at the north and south magnetic poles. So that's where we actually end up seeing the aurora is at the poles generally and the regions around those. However, when there is a large storm and a large influx of charged particles, they can deform Earth's magnetic field and allow the aurora to be seen at lower latitudes. So over the next year or so, as the sun is reaches its peak of activity, we will start to see more aurora at lower latitudes, such as the one we look at in our time lapse video today. So that was our picture of the day for October 13th of 2024. It was titled Aurora Time Lapse Over Italian Alps. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Comet Tales. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.